and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and it's Sunday, so I am here with Scrap Lift Craftoon, a hop where we find something that inspires us and we scrap lift it. And so this week we are scrap lifting the Artful Angels and I just adored this layout so much. I really loved the way that it used up some scraps, had some stitching, all those fabulous things. I'm going to document this really cute picture of my Neff pup sleeping at the beach. And I'm going to use my 49 and Market Spectrum Sherbert uh, because I have all these lovely scraps. Plus, that's what she uses, so that's made it even better. I've got lots and lots of embellishments, and I'm going to cheat. And I'm kind of sorry, but not 100% sorry. She stitched on hers, and it's so gorgeous. And... I'm going to use my stamp and some black soot by Tim Holtz. <sighs> I'll explain a little bit more in a minute. Um, and then I did pull these thicker sets out to make my title with. Um, and like I said, I'm using my black soot by Tim Holtz. So I have my papers. I have my embellishments. I have my picture and this awesome layout. So let's see how this goes. So first things first, I take all my scraps and decide which I want to use. Those two that have the multicolors right there, I definitely am not going to use. I'm trying to stick with kind of one color on each of those strips. Now she has predominantly all pink and white, and then she's popping it out with some black. And I do love that. Um, I'm using a very similar paper to her from the same collection, I do believe. And instead of sticking with all teal colored um, papers and strips, I'm going to use some color. One, because that's what I had in my scraps. And two, I kind of wanted to add a little bit more color to it. So I am going to use some pinks and oranges and a little bit of yellow. And I will bring that, those colors back into the front with some embellishments when I get done with the paper layers um, and the strips. So I do ink up the white um, the predominantly white papers so that they stand out a little bit better and I just kind of make them in different sizes most of hers look like they're thin I made some of mine thicker I really just kind of kept them however they were when I created them and then I take my one of the stamps um, one of the sewing stitch stamps I got these off of Amazon and I use them so much I really did select this because I wanted to stitch my goal is to stitch once every month however April is the craziest month for my job. I work in a school and the my specific job is definitely um, a whole lot crazier in the month of March and April. And I lose a week in April because it's spring break and uh, the district has added a new adventure. <laughs> That's the nicest way I can put it to my plate. Not just mine, but everybody in my position's plate. And in the worst time of year for us. So it's been really, really stressful and exhausting. And so um, I just did not get around this. It is literally one o'clock in the morning while I'm recording this. I just finished creating it and this is going live at 1 p.m. So in 12 hours, <laughs> which is not normal for me, I usually have gone to bed at least I'm reading in my bed by now. So I did not do stitching. I was lucky to get the layout done. I promised my son I'd watch Godzilla with him. So that's what I was doing until about almost midnight. And then came and made this layout. And that's what we do as parents, right? <laughs> so, you know, when everything happens at the same time, you just have to kind of roll with it and do what you can. So anyway, so I have stamped everything. I made sure it came off at the top and off at the bottom. I tried to line up the stamp as best I could in the middle where they connect. Some of them are a little wonky on that very far right one. I'm going to cover that up with some stuff. Even if I didn't, though, I'm okay with that. That's what I love about um, that kind of stamping is that it does not have to be precise and clear and stuff. Um, I don't do well with that. <laughs> I can't. I I just like doing, um, you know, this um, kind of grungy look with stamping because that means that it doesn't have to be, you know, beautiful and perfect. <laughs> so anyway, I am taking some embellishments. I do go ahead with the movie reel like she's got or the picture reel. 
Um, I put mine at the top. It's in the tealy color instead of the black because I'm using from this collection. And then I just pull a few embellishments that kind of go along with the embellish the colors of those strips. So the yellow little um, paper over there on the far left. And then I've got this little yellow stamp. I got a couple tickets that are just kind of adding a little extra color in there. A little tab that I will put the date on. And then I'll probably do like a little journaling maybe on the um, one of these little white strips or maybe even on the one of those tickets because it's going to be super simple about my Neff pup climbing up in the space where I sleep and falling asleep. Literally like I just got out of it. You can still see he's laying on my comforter or my pillow is still sitting there and he jumped up there as soon as I moved like this is my space now. <laughs> and he was so cute. So I had to, of course, take his picture. Um, he is just darling. And I love getting my puppy snuggles in when he's around. I do add that little circular feature, that pink one. It says adorable, which is pretty darn fitting of this cute fella. Um, and then I title it Relax and Chill. Um, thought that was pretty fitting. And I pulled that from a um, Thickers collection. And this one is called High Five. Um, I did pull that little heart off of there so that I'd have that diagonal of the black from the top left corner down with the picture, um, you know, being framed out in the black and then the title in the bottom right corner. And then I am going to come in with some Nouveau Crystal Drops in ebony black and put those kind of around. She has sequins on hers in a pink, which is super pretty, but I wanted to get some of this Nouveau used and, um... I wasn't in the mood for sequins so <laughs> you know at one in the morning you do what you do and it's fine um but other than that I really do love the way that this layout turned out I love getting things used up I love using collections that I struggle to use because I love it so much um that's my problem with like 49 and market and um cocoa vanilla and some other collections I love them oh so much and I have a hard time using them but I pulled this out, used a whole other sheet plus a bunch of scraps from this, and I am thrilled with that. Her layout is so, so pretty, and I maybe will redo it again um, and actually stitch because I really do want to stitch on another layout, um, but not at one o'clock in the morning. So that could only lead to disaster, honestly. But I hope you'll go check her out. Her information will be below in my description box, as well as the playlist and the ladies that scrap lift with me. I love this group of ladies. I have been scrap lifting with them, or at least some of them, for, um, um, I guess, over two years now. So it has been fun. So I hope you will come back and see me again. Hope you'll go check them out. And I hope you all have a great day. Hope you get a chance today to do something you love with someone you love. And happy scrapping.